Okay. All right, well, I'm gonna open these shits, man. I've waited long enough, motherfuckers. Gonna drink some cider. Yes. I'm gonna celebrate this stuff. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what we got. First box or bag or whatever the fuck. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, I got. Oh, I don't know what the fuck that is. Check that out, huh? And then, I know this guy, so I got a dragon. Looks like a blue dragon. Oh shit, dude. First card out. Frost Giant. But six mana though, bro. When Frost Giant is blocked, choose a character that is not engaged with it. That character cannot attack during your next turn. Yeah, it's the Greater Elemental. And I also got a Blue Dragon. Yeah. Lesser Dragon. I don't have this one. <laughs> there you go. I don't. So now I have the full Blue Dragon set, I think. I think. I mean, I'm not going to get carried away, but... So. And be sure you check to see what color they are, like whether you get a green or a. Well, this uh, one's a this one's a green. There you go, uncommon. It's an uncommon, but yeah. this one's gray. Yeah, that's a common. Okay. Thanks, man. Next bag. All right, let's see what dice we get. Oh, two very new ones to me. I've never seen these before. Um, look at this one. Skull. Okay, I know who that is. Do you? Skeletor. <laughs> yeah. The He-Man universe? This looks like a tree. What if it's like a tramp? Mm. A tree tramp? I don't know what you're talking about. A tramp. Like a tramp? Oh, a tree ant. Oh, yeah, totally. That would be wicked. You fucking son of a bitch. Guess what it is. That's exactly what I said. It's a treant. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Level, it's, he's a lesser beast. While active, evil characters cost one more to field. Ooh. I don't think that works for you, because I think Sabretooth is the only one that is evil in your hand, right? A villain, yeah. Yeah. So what did it do? Uh, while active, evil characters cost one more to field. So, you know how it costs, like, in the upper corner, it costs, like, one mana, two mana, or three mana? It'd cost one more there to put it out in the field. For me or for you? For you. Okay. No, all, everybody. While active, evil characters cost one more to field. Oh, okay, that's not very good, because you use evil characters in your first. Oh, for sure, yeah, yeah, I'm not... Yeah, like, you're a vampire, and you're, um... But the global's really nice. Pay one shield to prevent the next two damage that you, the player, take from an ability or action die. It's interesting. Okay, so I got a skeleton. Ooh, and he's an uncommon. Okay, I'm gonna actually turn my autofocus back on, I think, because. Oh, is it not gonna let me? Yeah, it won't let me in here because it's dumb. So, it's gonna have to deal with things being a little out of focus, I guess. Okay, so there's those. Nice, I got a new gelatinous cube. Yeah. yeah, and I got some sort of, looks like a zombie. It's just exactly what it is. Okay, we got 
This gelatinous cube is the lesser ooze. Whenever a character is knocked out during the attack step, you may capture it with the thing. When the gelatinous cube attacks, you may assign one opposing character to block it. That's pretty strong. So this one, I can tell people who's blocking it. Sorry. Yeah, that's actually, that's not too bad. Yeah, and then I got a zombie. Okay. Two mana zombie. During the attack step, you pay a shield to prevent all damage to a zombie. Oh wow, dude, your stream it, it's much more clear than um, than what I'm seeing. Yeah. Cool. So it looks better on the stream than it does on our hangout? Yeah, so you can be happy with that. Yeah, I can actually. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Alright, so let's look at the next one. Thanks for checking that out. Oh shit, so what do we got here? Hey, this looks like some sort of orc thing. Oh, I went back to the video we just did. Yeah. And it starts off with the fart. I told you! <laughs> it's like, <"Burr." laughs> I fucking told you, man. And you're like, oh, it stinks. <laughs> Wait, I'm listening. <laughs> that was a fucking good one, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Looks like I got some sort of a, a velociraptor or something. Looks like another dragon. I'm hoping it's um I'm hoping it's the one dragon that boosts all the other dragons. Can't remember this name of it is. Ooh. Dracona Lynch. An undead dragon. Yeah, dude, it's really nice. It does the one damage to all creatures, to your opponent and all his creatures. When fielded, you may purchase a basic action die at no cost and roll it. You may use it if it shows an action face, otherwise put it in your bag. You may purchase a basic action die at no cost and roll it. Whoa. In your Google Hangouts, you should be able to edit the camera, um... I can, but it only lets me select it. It doesn't let me go into further uh, controls like it did in Skype. Yeah, like, with the, you, like, it's right beside the camera button, those bars. Yeah. And you were already at Auto HD. I'm all the way up as far as I can go, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, see how much worse it gets? Yeah, I'm all the way up, there you go. Check it out, I got the orc though. Just a straight up orc. Orc? Yeah. The other white meat. Okay? <laughs> the other, other white meat. Yeah, orc. That <laughs> <laughs> bastard says, you know, somehow it's, you need the baby. The other, other white meat. <laughs> it's so terrible. Oh, this looks good. It's like a sword. This looks like one of those uh, weapons that I was hoping for, man. And this... Some kind of squiggly sword with magic, so. Oh shit, the dro. I got a dro assassin. Or a drow. Yeah, the drow assassin. Greater humanoid. Uh, cannot be blocked by adventurers. Wow. If the Drow Assassin damages an opponent, you may knock out an adventurer. Wow. 
Wow, 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 wow. This is such an awesome card. Oh my god, I want this one. <laughs> I'm pretty fucking stoked about this one. I'm not even going to lie. It's an uncommon, too. <laughs> Step into the light. But, dude, that's fucking crazy good. That is a, a really... I'm really happy about that one. Okay. Plus, I got a magic sword. Lesser gear. Magic sword. Curious to play around with equipping items, but I don't think I'm going to get to that until, like, maybe four-handed. Like, instead of getting fives, I just stick with threes, you know, like a magic sword and shit, you know, like, I get a couple of characters and then learn to bo boost them up. Ooh, shiny little pink one. Ooh, it's a dragon, too, it looks like. Yeah, I'm excited to make a dragon deck. Oh, it looks like another. Could be another tree. Ant. It's a tree. All dragonies. Yeah, because there's that one card that boosts like all dragons. So I'd like to chain it all together. I think it would be really sick. But uh, I will I'll have to have to make another video of that. Yeah, Trent building. <laughs> uh, same one as before, I think. Lesser beast. For the next two damage, yeah. Ooh, the red dragon. Yeah, breathe weapon two. Field red dragon for free if your opponent has two or more non-player characters in the field. What? Wow. <laughs> yeah, but he's seven. Like, yeah. that's the thing about him, right? Is that he's... Oh, shit. Shit, let me find it. Is he seven? Why did I, I found it earlier. It was a nice little spot right here. Or it's not all reflective and shiny, but whatever. Okay. Alright. Oh. Pretty sure those are the two ones I just got. And that would be another halfling. Thief. Uh, oh, okay. Those were from a pack before. The one I just opened, I just threw the dice in there by accident. And then this guy, which is like a sword and axe through a shield. I'm not sure what that's about. He looks like a warrior type because his fists. Warrior type, yeah. Yeah, so they, the halfling thief. H-L-T. Yeah. Let's see how this one it differs. Uh, when one or more halfling thief die are assigned to attack, you may move up to two of your opponent's dice from his used area to his bag. Why would I want to do that? Interesting. Ooh. The Oh my fucking god Oh my fucking god dude Okay you okay are you ready are you sitting are you are you sitting there? Are you watching? If you got a terrest I'm gonna kick you in the head. Dude, I don't have terrest. No. What I have though is a half orc fighter. Paragon Ooh, Yellow. Yeah. Experience. He gains experience. And when I field this character, I may immediately use the equip ability to equip a gear die to it. While it has gear equipped, half orc gets plus three attack when engaged with a good character. He's a total bad guy. Three fucking. 
Mmm. Ouchie. But yeah, what's a yellow? A rare? Uh, a yellow is a rare, yeah. Nice. Alright, so two new die. Oh, uh oh. I think I know what this one is. Cthulhu. And. Looks like some sort of armor. Yep, Mind Flayer. Cthulhu. In the house. Six mana. Greater Humanoid Green uh, Cthulhu. When fielded, choose an energy type. It's hard to tell if that's stress marks or part of the image, but anyway. When fielded, choose an energy type, canceling all previous choices. Creatures mm -hmm. of that energy type cost your opponent two more to field while Mind Flayer is active. This effect lasts until you field another Mind Flayer. Yeah, that's really quite crazy. Oh, nice! And I got a magic helmet. Equip. And equip characters can only be blocked by two or more characters. The Mind Flayer is cool, but it's just too... I don't know. Mechanics like that. I've never been really good at, like, making work. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Vampire and Blue Dragon. Sorry. They're from the starter kit, so I didn't recognize them. Okay. Lesser Undead, Vampire. When assigned to attack, you may choose to force one monster or all adventurers to block a vampire. Bam, dude. Balam. There it is. There's the 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 energy drain that I wanted. So what does it do? When assigned to attack, you may choose to force one monster or all adventurers to block a vampire. So either all your NPCs or one specific I could tell to block me. Then I energy drain all of them. Oh, nice. Yeah. There you go. But it's five mana for that guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm not known for using NPCs often enough, though. No, no. But I've noticed that. Good, um, yeah, because... I don't know. Maybe late game, I'll use them for sure, just for, like, ramming damage, but... Well, I think there's something to be said about, like, using them as chump blockers and then building, like, a mana ramp. Yeah, or at least like blocking. Can you block with three or? Uh, yeah, you can. You can. You can group up your blockers for sure. You just can't group up your attackers. Okay. The only thing I don't like against the vampire with my Ant Man is like, if if you block and you kill it, you gain the life. Mm-hmm. Fucking suck. <laughs> so this was a blue dragon. The bluest. Yeah, the Lesser Dragon. I've actually already gotten that one, so that's a dupe. Oh, sweet. Another shield. Or another sword of whatever, this type. Which is good. Now I have two chances of that one. I like... This is what I'm getting excited about. Like, dupes and all. Yeah. Well, like, getting up to four of them is... is well, it's like the cards we're after, but more importantly, it's the dice we need. Right? Like, we only need one of the card. One of each type of card. You know what I mean? Like, I want all types of blue dragons that are printed. Yeah. But I only need one of them. Mm -hmm. But I need, like, four dice. <laughs> like, so, this guy, I don't know what it is, it looks like a a foot with a with a Noah's question mark cane or something. 
What do you think that is? What does it look like? It's like a foot kicking a cane. <laughs> maybe it's like, maybe it's Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock? <laughs> it's Sherlock. Sherlock a Dungeoneer. Okay, so we got the magic sword, which was the, the other one, which I was excited about getting two of. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and an elf wizard. Ooh. I like the look of this card. And it's experience token. Okay. A lot of these D&D work on an experience system. Uh, when fielded, action dice cost one less to purchase. When assigned to attack, move an action die from your used pile to your prep area. Wow. Elf wizard for the win. Wow. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> Thank you for your input there, Adam. That was good. <laughs> I like reading at the same time. That's fine. I, but I appreciate your, your, your input in regards to uh, strats. Okay, got another one of these these dragons. So that's two of these dragons here. Oh, and this one's new. I can't really see it. It's like a... I don't know, it's a 7-5, I'll tell you that much. That's ridiculous, but it looks like, like a, a mantid or something, you know? Like a mantis beast? Mantis. Yeah. Hey, how many packs have you opened so far? Like, five? No. Oh, no, I guess a lot more. I only remember... That's the problem with opening, like, tons. Eleven? I remember a couple of them. Yeah, I've opened nice. eleven. Yeah, so I got I got another red dragon. Uh, super super strong this red dragon. Seven mana though. I've never gotten that much mana. Um, the global. When you're purchasing your next action dice, it costs two less if you spend this. And you deal one damage to your opponent. It does both. That's stupid. Okay. Um, Alright, the Umber Hawk. The Greater Beast. Oh, shit, it's creepy. Yeah. While active, your opponent cannot field NPCs. Oh. But, like you said before, you don't field NPCs. You don't you rarely even play them. That's because I have the fucking Ant-Man food. Yeah. Ooh. You gotta buy one of those on eBay. That's Venom. No, or this... Like, or, or like the, the Spider-Man symbiote suit. Yeah. No, it's Cthulhu. Another one of the Mind Flayers. And this one's new. The Broken Heart. Something, yeah. It's like a Wings, Bat Wings... Maybe kind of vampire yeah. class? I don't know. Maybe Batman. Batman. <laughs> You're just excited for the Batman series. That's all it is. You can't wait. You're like, you like no, gonna try to beat me up with Robin. Oh, okay. actually, you know what? I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna buy it. Now that you said that. Yeah, <laughs> so you can beat me up with Robin. <laughs> no, I want like I want like Joker or Bane or something. Like that. Oh yeah, yeah. The you're right. The evil characters are kind of a. Uh, a bit cooler. Or even like uh, the Riddler, like he probably does something really fucked up, like makes you re-roll one of your characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Adds a confusion of okay. some sort, yeah. Okay, you got another mind player? Yeah. But this one's like when fielded, uh, if there's an opposing NPC in the field, you may knock it out and spin mind flare up one level. So I can like get him out. Holy! A manticore, bro. What color is it? Green. Manta Beast. 
While active, deal one damage to each opposing character immediately after it is fielded. Ouch. Not so bad. I mean, it's good, but it, it, it could be better. Um, the reason I say that is because, again, you don't play NPCs. So no. you very rarely have any characters in field that are of a one defense quality. Well, my Ant-Man. Mm. Okay, you're right, then. I didn't even consider those, and I apologize. And I am going to change Ant-Man now. <laughs> well, we'll see. I don't know if I'll use it, right? Ooh, okay. So this looks a lot like that that um, paladin that I had before, but I thought the paladin was a different color. Oh, and I got another boot to the moon. Jazz hands. Ooh. Yeah. Which, hilariously enough, I can't remember what the boot to the moon was. Oh, the elf wizard. Oh, yeah. That was a really good card. Greater Order of the Gauntlet. Mm. Yeah, so. Yeah. Pretty excited to have two of them because I do want to play that card, I think. Oh, yep, and I was right. It's Paladin. Yeah. Um... Whoa, check out his global here. Um, pay, the sh pay the shield and pretty much like convert, reduce your damage you take from any character ability to one. So like if you, yeah, so if you try to like breath of fire me or something like that, I could just be like one damage. Yeah, situational stuff. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Holy crap, I got two of the same card in the same deck, in the same pack. You have a good chance of getting a rare. You think so? Mm -hmm. They're like, I think it's like, you know, it's two best friends walking, I think. Oh, fuck yeah. In the sand. Oh. So it's like two, two twin families. Yeah. Okay, I got a lesser stalker. Hmm. Okay. The other card is also a lesser stalker, uh, but it is a rare, or an uncommon, or whatever. Green. Nice. Yeah. Set. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Uh, while active, you may move this character to the used pile to prevent all damage from a character that damages you either with an ability or during the attack step. That's so crazy. So, I... Oh my god. You, oh my god. That's so crazy. Okay, so, if he is in field, and I attack, and you decide to block him, okay, I can decide to remove him from the field and put him in my use pile and take no damage. That's so crazy. Yeah, but then he'll just... You won't get him again later. Well, he doesn't go in my prep. You're right. He doesn't go in my prep, but he goes in here. Yeah, but I see what you're saying. Instead of going in my prep. Yeah. Like, maybe it might be good if you know that you have more characters in your thing that you want to get. Here you go. Maybe I'll use this one instead, even though it's the more common one. I can't read it. If one of these attacks alone, then it can't be blocked. I'm not sure I understand. If he's my only attacker, you can't block him. Damage goes through every time, 100% of the times. And what is the uh, health and damage on it? Three, three, four, four, or five, four. Okay. So that could be painful. 
That's a motherfucker. I'm just trying to get my Wolverine out right away. As no, as listen to you! <laughs> With your Wolverine! Uh, I'm glad I got I two of those. Vision. Him and Vision are like the only characters that I think I will never get rid of. Wolverine and Vision. Got another green dragon. That's kind of nice. Uh oh. Purple worm. Yo. Purple worm. It's a purple worm. Yep, it totally is. Purple worm. Uncommon. Yeah, he's a green. Um, Overcrush. Deal excess damage to opponent. That's nice. So he has trample. It's called Overcrush for some reason. When assigned to attack, knock out a character, either players, then deal damage to your opponent equal to that character's level. Oh my god, this guy's ridiculous. What does he cost? Six or seven? Seven. Yeah. Yeah, but he's fucking. He's an end game. I heard that description and I was like, that's a fucking seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's devastating. And then a green dragon with a breath of one. Characters damaged by his breath cannot block. Your opponent may prevent this by paying one life. <laughs> that's funny. Reese would like that card a lot. <laughs> he really would. That's got his type of mechanic all over it. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I like this one already. Oh, it's another shieldy buddy. Okay, cool. Sorry. Shieldy buddy. But this guy looks like your saber tooth. Oh, yeah. What do you think he is? Mr. Sinister, yeah. Okay. Oh, we got the magic helmet. I think it's a magic helmet. Yeah, we knew that. No, this this one was a magic helmet. Yeah, I was saying what the first one was. Okay. Oh, snap. It's Pit Fiend. I think it's a Pit Fiend. Yeah, see? Yeah, you're like on it every single time. But you know what? I just realized something that I just passed by. Before I look at the Pit Fiend... Let's look at this helmet again. Yeah. <laughs> what does it do? Okay, equip. This equipped character takes no damage during the attack step. Oh. So you can only kill me if I block with him. Oh, man. Wow. What is his damage? No. No, that's just a, a weapon. So I can I have to use a character that can equip weapons though. You know, like the dragon oh. can't equip weapon, the purple worm can't, but you know, um the lesser but the lesser what's it the human paladin can because of this um this thing here. That symbol there. Okay. You see? So yeah. Okay, so uh, you love it. You fucking love it. Uh huh. Fuck you. When I get my box, I'll put him in there. I'll replace Ant Man with that shit. I can't wait. I'm excited. I want to see your opening as well. After you field your first pit fiend each, or after you come each turn, your friend, your fiends cost two less to purchase. To a minimum of one. Oh, so that can rush. I can then rush more pit fiends. Mm -hmm. the, the more pit fiends I have, then it costs two less to buy more. Okay. That's pretty good, actually. I'm going to have to start a secondary pile, though, I think, here, because... I hate the way that they package these. and You know, like that they're all bouncing up. Okay. Yeah, because they, they were trying to fix that. There was, like, a... People were upset, right? So... I need like a book or something. <coughs> I just happen to have some. Yeah, just go to the dollar store, dude, tomorrow. Yeah. And, uh. Come up, buy a book. 
I use this DVD set of Most Hunted. <laughs> With Yvette. Yeah, it's British TV at its finest, my friend. You know what, brother? I love British TV. Tell, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Break it down, Barney style. You're a good fucking man. Why say that? Wait, you complaining? No. Not anymore. Okay. So we got the pit fiend. Ugh. Ooh, another swordy sword. Okay. Professor X that you got as well. It does look like something like that, doesn't it? Oh, it's Aladdin. Yo, no, it's the genie. Arabian night meets Arabian day. <laughs> there it is. It is, in fact, a limited wish. A lesser spell. No, it's the genie. Okay. Choose an unpurchased die. Yours are from the basic action cards. Roll it. And if you roll a non-energy face, place the die in your used pile. Wow. Oh, that's pretty gangster. Isn't it? <laughs> wow. Love that. And I got a magic sword. Equip this to get a plus two attack. Boom. Magic sword to the fucking rescue. Let me, let me tell you something, okay? Lay it on me, Barney style. Well, Alibaba had them 40 the hivers that had the thousand tails, but master you would look, cause up your sleeves. You got brand new magic that never fails. You got some power in your corner now, some heavy ammunition in your camp. You got some punch, pizzab, yahoo, and how. See, you gotta do is rub this lamp. You yeah. ain't never had a friend like me. <laughs> 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 That's how that shit ends. Oh shit. Unicorn Brothers. That's crazy. Zero cost, too. Ooh. It's like another little squ squiggly face creature. Squiggly face creature. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Unicorn! <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy it's just straight up a unicorn. I guess D&D &D is the rights for that, you know? <laughs> what, a unicorn? Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm fucking well, straight up. I'm sure that they're not going to get a call from a unicorn's lawyer and be like, uh... Well, you never know, mm -hmm. right? If somebody else had, like, posted this, you know, it would have to be the unicorn of, you know, the Blue Marshes or whatever. So it's like D&D &D wouldn't call him up and be like, hey, Unicorn's ours, bitch. Call it something else. <laughs> you have a bit of a point. <laughs> like... Okay, Unicorn. That's a beast. Okay. While active, gain one life the first time each turn you feel a good character. <laughs> what? <laughs> I could like do like a whole like we're goody two shoes we're gonna get ya and he would be on my team. <gasps> Look at this. Are you fucking ready? We've been having such a good time with this unicorn and you didn't even know it was underneath of it. Are you so fucking prepared? Do it. You are lucky. Red. Yep. Yeah. It's the Tarrasque, man. Fanfare. <laughs> 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 fanfare. Fanfare. Fan okay. Regenerate. Fuck. 
When Terror-esque regenerates, knock out all of your opponent's characters of equal or lower level. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Yeah. Mm. It's a nice one. This it's is a, a thirty dollar card. This is why we need sleeves. Is that what the red is for? Like, is that a rare or super rare? That's a super rare. Okay. But keep in mind, like, paying attention to that doesn't always work the best, because sometimes, like, the... Like, in this case, that's a really good card. Yeah. But uh, in some cases, like, you'll find, like, maybe, like, a green that's much better than the other one. Oh! I, yeah, I mean, like... In, Man, in I... deck building, you mean. In deck building, I look more for synergy. I don't really care about the rareness of yeah. it. I look more for synergy. But with this being like my heavy hitter rather than my big worm, maybe, right? It's the same mana cost. I kind of like what this does better. However, and it's not like a good or bad character. So things to think about, right? Yeah. No, it's such a nice card. Uh, yeah. Nice, uh, now you've got to get the fucking common to other, other to get the dice because I could have a maximum of four but I don't see why I would want a maximum of four due to the seven mana right well later on you can get more like remember I had the what was it three Xavier's yeah yeah that's true but I swapped it out because vision is almost just as good as the Xavier well better because vision's more aggressive yeah well vision has like the four damage on him Exactly. But, uh, Professor X has the has the nine the nine health. Mm. So, get this guy. <laughs> I heard that on your mic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and this guy. Is that an axe? It could be. It's, like, it's going to be a character, but it could be like a like a battle axe type of character. The rest are shields, so like paladin-y, guardian-esque, and this is like a, a dead dragon, I think, the Draconi dragon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Draco Lynch. Paragon. Very nice. Looks like a baby medieval knight. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Breath 3, while active, your opponent takes 1 damage from each each time either player rolls, but not re-rolls, an action die. That's fucking ridiculous. That's really fucking ridiculous. Oh, he's a 7, so he can be ridiculous. That shit's ridiculous. Oh, and we were right. He's a dwarf cleric, is the other one. Nice. Experience, and uh, when fielded, knock out an undead monster of equal or lower level. So, the only issue with that is we have to figure out what an undead monster would be an equivalent to on uh, the Uncanny or the Marvel Universe, you know? I haven't even made a dent in this motherfucker, man. <coughs> I, I'm really happy about that. I thought this would go really quick. No, it's, you know, it's gonna be a while. If you get a second caress, you're sending it to me. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Because yeah. you're my and homie? Because you're my homie? Okay. Yeah, and I'll send you a Thor, which is worth 45 bucks. Oh, look at that. So, I've got another one of these guys. Looks like up here. There we go. Okay, and this is new. Looks like a... I'm going to say like a bear. A bear, pig man, or something like that. Um, here. Bang, bang, bear. He's a goddamn bear pig. Guys. <laughs> Minotaur. Otherwise known as the bear pig. 
Shit. Paragon. Oh, nice. When assigned to attack, Minotaur captures one opposing die of a lower level. This die remains captured until the capturing die leaves the field or uses the ability again. Interesting. So this is kind of like the gelatinous cube, except better. Hmm. Oh, I got another magic helm. Two more characters. Yep. Okay. Got another mantidy dude. And it looks like some sort of uh, creepy crawly dude. That's really nice. Yeah, I haven't seen that one before, so it looks like it's going to be like a special. Ember Hawk. We should know about before. You know, change the energy type. And a carrion crawler. When fielded, knock out an opposing NPC. He has a crazy global too. Where you can like spend one magic bolt to like nuke a dude. Got another fucking last wish. And I got a new one. Not sure what it is. Some sort of a, a fisty thing with an asterisk actually. So this one has special, special things. Okay, so limited wish. Yep, that's a fucking sick card. Oh, shit. It's a cobalt. Oh. Wow, a cobalt. Okay, so check this guy out. Swarm. Swarm? Swarm. I get extra draw during the clear and draw phase. Or step. So I get to pick five when he's active. Oh, nice. That is kick ass. Oh, it's a paragon. <laughs> That's probably why it's so kick ass. Uh, what does it cost? Two. Oh, my God. Right? But I only have one so far, but that's fucking sweet. I like that one. Okay. Oh, it looks like a troll. I'm, I'm missing the, the dude right now that sold me all the packs. I said, I would like to buy all of your D&D booster packs for 50 cents each. So I could get basically 90 for... Like 65 bucks. Yep. Which is the deal I was hoping for, but whatever. So I got another sword. It's four swords. I have a complete sword. And I got a, it looks like a, a troll. The regenerative troll. Yeah. So, magic sword. Yep. And a regenerative troll. Regenerate at the beginning of your turn. Spin this character up a level. Look at that! Yeah. That's a much better troll. Fuck yeah. Well, that's wicked, so now I have three trolls, and that's a good troll. Okay, got another mantid dude. 
And, ooh, looks like a beholder. I haven't shown the beholder yet, so. Yep, so. Oh shit, I got a Paragon Umberhawk. Yeah, so when fielded, re-roll an opposing level, one and two characters. Move each die that shows an energy face to your opponent's use pile. Oh, damn. Wow, dude. Read that. I can't. Okay. When fielded, re-roll all opposing level one and two characters and then move each that would come up in energy into the use pile that is so crazy all oh. holy fuck a beholder okay is a different one than you have oh yeah this is a lesser apparition Okay, it's an uncommon, but look at that. His his ability has changed a little bit because what happens is when fielded, move all action dice from your use pile to your prep area, including those used this turn. Wow. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, that's fucking... You and I both know how, like, helpful that would be. Look at you salvating over there. Oh shit, look at this. Okay, so now I just got two more of these guys, which I think are the, uh, what's it called? The, um, the Guardian guys meant the, not mana cores, but, you know, Minotaurs. I got a green one and. A gray one. When assigned to attack, choose up to two opposing NPCs. Those NPCs can't block. When fielded, he gets a plus one plus D for each opposing NPC. And it lasts to the end of turn. When fielded, opposing NPCs can't block this turn. Oh, damn. So, th that guy right there, when he comes into field, he can cut through everybody and do a shit ton of damage. Depending on how big your army is or your wall. You know, I'm surprised that there's nothing with, like, a cleave. Uh, magic Missile or Breath are kind of like cleaves. There's also Cone of Ice, or Cone of Cold, which does, like, one damage to one, two damage to the second, and three damage to the third, but only works when there's three characters in play. So there are, like, cleave-like uh, skills. Uh, Cone of Cold... Well, but that only does it to the one and then hits you. Correct, yeah. Oh, nice. I got another one of these cursed sword guys, and I remember he was good. I liked him. And then another but one of also, these guys. Like, when, when you, uh, for example, say I have a 5-5 five, five and you block with mm -hmm. a 3-3, three, three, yeah. I'll go through that and hit you with the so. Mm hmm. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay, I got a Manticore. Okay. Another Drow Assassin. Is that crazy that this one's blank, but it's three mana? It's like a good card. It's um, the blank ones. Like a lot of the time, they're really, really good. Uh, but I have I one of the first pack I opened had a Drow Assassin with some sick abilities on it, and I think he costs two mana. So that's why I was yeah, kind of like... Yeah, if you look at his stuff, like, it's 0 for a 3-2, mm -hmm. 1 for a 4-2, or fucking 1 for a 4-4. Four, four. Totally. Good. Totally, man. Yeah. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... I'd say to also check out, um... Because I have, like I said, an earlier version of that. That is like has abilities attached to it that make it even more retarded, right? Like, yeah. 
Oh, so actually it costs more. So there's the four Dro Assassin, okay? That. Like, how do I get it so you can read it? Cannot be blocked. He costs four, but yeah, he cannot be blocked by adventurers. Okay, yeah. I if Dro Assassin damages an opponent, you may knock out an adventurer. Like, holy fuck, man. Ooh. <gasps> Another Dro. Nice. Um, but this is new. Pink one. It's a hot air balloon. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those items, right? That I can get. What do we got? Oh, a dupe. Prismatic Spray. All of your opponent's characters lose all their card text until the end of turn. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's fucked up. Is. Yeah, you're like mad about that? <laughs> like, you know. Yeah, don't, don't take any of my Ant Man's text, please. Exactly, exactly. Alright, so I got two more. Okay, another one of these manticores, looks like. And another one of these guys. I should I remember? I think they were like a dwarf. Something. Yeah, so manticore, when assigned to a deck, deal one damage to your opponent. Okay. Oh, half orc. Experience. While active, gear dice cost you two less to purchase. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's nice. yeah. That coupled with my my magic helmet or whatever. Yeah. Pretty cray cray. Trying to like, you know, not have my cards fall over, but at the same time, I gotta squish them straight. Look at all those things, man. I'm so fucking happy right now. Okay. <gasps> yeah! Okay, so I got another one of these. Just the swarm guys. I think the cobalt or whatever. Um, then I got another one of these, which I think is just a skeleton dude. Okay. Yeah. Skeleton dude. No text. Nice. Okay. Two. Oh, shit, dude. Okay, cobalt with swarm. But look at that. A one? A one. Oh, moly. <laughs> Holy moly is right. Must attack if your opponent that. controls any adventurers. At least one adventurer must block this cobalt if able. And what is the damages on it? Uh, one 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 or one two. He's very weak. Yeah, he's very weak. But it's a good one to get out there. Like, for example, Swarm. say you're able to... Buy, say you get, like, four fists right away. Mm -hmm. If you just fucking bust out four of those fucking things. Oh, right away? Yeah. Exactly. But see, the thing is, is um, Swarm is key. Now, I don't think it stacks. So, I only really need yeah, one of these. It doesn't really matter anyway. Because it's... Oh, no. It, unless... How much does it cost for the one and two and three levels? Zero, zero, and zero. So swarm doesn't even matter. Swarm does matter. Swarm lets you roll five dice at your start.